I think Chrissy is a multi-awarded actor and, and uh, director in the Philippines. Uh, he is like the Clint Eastwood of the Philippines. Um, in, he started his career in the 1950s as a, as a character actor, and then he reinvented himself as a film director, and then he reinvented himself again in the, in, when he was in his 50s as, a, as an action star. Um, and um, now he acts in, in, in soap operas, uh, and he, he remains a huge star, and he's very, very straight. Eddie Gracie was really my first and only choice to, to play the role of Lene. Um, and uh, because I've worked with him, uh, I've, I've known Eddie Gracie for four years. I've uh, written parts for him in, in different TV shows. I've even directed him in a soap opera, so it was really quite easy for me to approach him and offer him the role. All, all I did was really uh, send him a copy of the script. And uh, a few days later, he called to say that he loved the script, he loved the story, he, he liked his role, and he immediately signed on to the project without even asking me how much he was getting for it. There was another dog who was supposed to play uh, the role of Wahal, but a month before the shoot, the owner just backed out of the project and we were left with, with no dog. And uh, I almost uh, shelved the project. Um, out of desperation, because we didn't have enough time to hold a natural relation, I just decided to try my luck on YouTube. And that's where I found Princess. Uh, his, uh, her owner uh, has this uh, a dog camp, and um, and uh, the, the dog camp specializes in, in training Aspins or, or Philippine mutts. And that same day, I went to the dog camp and uh, I met Princess for the first time. Uh, she's a two-year-old half golden retriever, and um, and she also happens to be a highly trained bomb sniffing dog. Despite the fact that the Philippines is a predominantly Catholic country, and despite the fact that we were uh, raised early on believing, we were made to believe and uh, that uh, being gay is a sin, uh, Philippines in general are, are very gay friendly and open-minded. Um, and uh, we have really no problem about uh, films like this. Uh, we, I mean, um, gay films in, 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 in general are, are released every month. In, we have new uh, gay films being released every month in, in the Philippines, so it's, it's, it's not really a problem. Uh, we don't have issues uh, about uh, about uh, films like this. We made the movie in intense three days. We had no choice uh, because of budget constraints and because of um, of conflict and schedules of the actors. But we spent a great deal of time in pre pre production deciding on the smallest detail. Uh, when I decided to to make the film, it it, it was clear to me from the very beginning that in order to capture the the, the spirit of Wakao. Um, which is for me really all about silences. It's for me, Wahao wow, is a film about about silences, and for me to, to capture that spirit, I had to be very sparing with with, with uh, my coverage, with uh, the movement of the camera, even with the use of music. The, the music had to be very unobtrusive. Um, um, at the, but at the same time, I didn't want the, the tone to be bleak, uh, so it was also important for me to to employ a lot of humor in the storytelling because you know, I, I wrote this thinking to, to honor my mentor and I wanted it to I wanted it to be a celebration of life.